We're here with head coach Misha Jackson to talk some Emory women's basketball. Coach, uh, non-conference uh, schedule just wrapped up last week, 9-2 and two record, four straight wins. Uh, kind of give your overall thoughts, uh, takeaways from the team up until this point. Really happy with where we are right now. Uh, I was very impressed with the way our players came back over the break, especially. They definitely put in the work, and that was a huge time off for them to reset. And you can tell a lot of them went home and they got better in their games, and that's what we were looking for. And I think we learned very early on from our losses, and I thought we didn't let that stop us, and I think it propelled us forward. And we're really meshing right now, and I'm very happy with the amount of minutes that we're getting out of people and the minutes getting less for some of our returners, which is a great thing because I think we're just able to go deeper into our bench this year. Kind of talk about those returners. A couple are really having strong seasons so far, especially uh, sophomore Tori Huggins, uh, who's really come into her own uh, recently, uh, senior Aaron Lindahl. Uh, talk about those two and a few others that are having playing pretty well recently. Yes, Tori. Tori's been an awesome presence for us in the paint, not only scoring but rebounding as well. I do think she's capable of averaging a double-double every game and we need that presence in the paint, especially in our conference. And not only in the paint, but she's doing a great job of extending the defense out to the three-point line, her mid-range jumper, and doing a great job of just being a solid presence for us in, inside. Erin uh, has always been a, a piece of consistency for us, and it's been great to see what she's been doing in 11 games, and I can't wait to see what she does the rest of the conference. But she's scoring in so many different ways for us that allows us to play her multiple ways as far as outside from the three, off the drive, inside. She's even posting up some and just her being able to flow flow within what we do has been awesome. Um, can't say enough about as well as Molly. Molly Wise is shooting the ball really well for us. That's also extending the three as well as Blair Ripley's doing a great job similar to Tori as far as her inside game. I think Blair's the same and should be averaging a double double as well. Um, Mariani, Alza, and Claire Brock are doing an awesome job of giving us also big minutes off the bench. And Allison Chernow is doing a great job of extending people out on the perimeter as well and also getting those easy drives. And, of course, Lindsay Say pushing the way she does with our offense and our tempo. And, I mean, she's getting up the court in three seconds, so we've got plenty of time to rep out what we need to do. All right, you kind of talked on score, uh, you know, scoring on how the team's been going, but let's talk about the defense. Defense has really been playing well. I think 14th in the country in scoring defense. Uh, you're holding opponents under 41% shooting pretty much every game. Uh, kind of expand on that, what you've liked so far. Yes, and that's our number one principle as far as our as far as our principles on the court is to disrupt. And I do where where I've been pleased with our team is they've been willing to move on the fly with something. Maybe we want to switch it up for this game. And for them, I think they're buying into if this is going to disrupt the other team, then let's go with it. Um, but I've been very impressed with when they've dialed in together and just been able to communicate effectively on the court with one another. And that's made us that's allowed us to have flexibility within what we do on the floor. All right, uh, UAA play starts this weekend. Rochester coming into town. Uh, kind of, I, I imagine you've watched some tape or film recently. Uh you know, they look like a pretty well-balanced scoring team. What can we kind of expect this weekend? I think you'll expect to see. I think the biggest thing for them is similar to what we have is a lot of depth. Um, they're playing almost 12 players in double-digit minutes, if not more than that. And I think the biggest thing you'll see from them also is the way they shoot the ball. They're shooting the three ball extremely well right now and have some great freshman play from their cards. And they've got a great inside game with their post player. And so for us, again, we've got to play our principles. We've got to slow them down in transition. And we've got to make sure we definitely get out to shooters and protect inside. And I guess one last thing before we go, we're kind of some points of emphasis, keys uh, that you're kind of telling your team this week in preparation. Mm -hmm. Biggest things for us is to just keep getting better. Uh, we only get this week back uh, at the end of the year when we play Rochester again on the road as far as this long of a preparation and so our biggest thing is to make sure we utilize it and that if we're going to get these extra days where we only have one game in a week, we got to make sure we're getting better every single day and it's sticking with our goals. We're, we want to contend for a UAA championship and obviously a birth to the NCAA tournament and that starts every day in practice. All right, thanks, Coach, and good luck this weekend. Thanks, Phil.